and Nicki Minaj having the docu-series on HBO Max, and I'm so excited! Oh Lord, oh Lord. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Hey friends! Oh Lord, oh Lord. What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl D. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because you don't want to be left out. No, we got a lot of new stuff going on. We got a lot of little fun. You know, we got some stuff going on. You ain't trying to miss out. And go ahead and smash that like button while you at it because it's right there and you clicked on the video. So obviously you like it. You might like the food. You might like me. I mean, if you like it, just like it. Thank you. Calm down. Calm down. Whew. All right, y'all. So y'all see what we got. We got a massive seafood boy here, y'all. I mean, y'all, we got one snow crab, one king crab. I got uh, two lobster tails, corn, eggs. I keep saying what I don't have. I don't have the sauce. It's corn, egg, and potatoes. That's a go. And I got my butter back here, peeking back here, y'all. Ooh, it's so hot. That's all me. That's all me. And y'all, we had a crazy. Well, I really want to say it's been a quiet week, really. We ain't had too much mess, but hold on. We ain't had too much mess, but we still had a little mess, okay? Y'all, we just gonna get it started. Um, I had a rough week. I had a rough week, baby. We gonna get into that later. I'm drinking water, y'all. I'm really trying to keep up with this water thing. I'm trying to do some changes, okay? So yeah, like I said, this week wasn't too much mess, but it was, it was enough, you know what I'm saying? I think we had enough of everything with you know, your president, Donnie, and I mean, I, I don't even want to call him Donnie. That's low-key my nickname. Mm. Yeah, let me bless over this food. Let's switch the mood. <laughs> Family, Father, I want to thank you for this wonderful meal. Good food, good meat, good God. Let's eat. Amen. Woo. Oh, and I figured out what was going on with my lashes, y'all. I told y'all I wasn't too. I'm going straight in with a king. Let me get me some gloves. I mean, some... I really want to give I really want to give my butter some time uh, to cool down because that thing was hot, y'all. I'm I just really this is why I don't like to eat king crab because I don't like these. I always stick myself like seriously. I don't like that. I don't like that. Mm -mm. Even scissors or not? Do I need to make sure I eat them a lot, a lot, so that I'm not I'm like me? Mm y'all. Mm mm y'all. I can't. Ooh. Uh, I honestly already thought Kevin Hart was washed up because, you know, I, I've heard he's been addicted to them painkillers ever since he's been in that accident for his back. And, you know, he went straight home. You don't just go straight home. Like, that stuff is serious. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, I honestly thought he just, he wasn't going to come out for a nice little minute. Like, I just didn't think that he was going to get a Netflix special. But, all right. I was trying to let my butter cool down, y'all, because it's hot. Ooh, it's hot. Ooh, look at that little piece of king. Mmm. Mmm. I'm telling you this out. I'm about to pull everything else out. They was pretty much going in on him on um Instagram, y'all. Like, they, I mean, Twitter... Twitter, really. Well, and Instagram shit. But look, social media shit. So I checked it out. I honestly don't think it's that bad, y'all. But I did not watch the whole thing, so let me just shut up. But from what I can watch, okay, yeah, it was a little cringy. Him saying, like, the COVID is, like, AIDS thing when... I'm sorry, it's not. That's just kind of weird. AIDS is so serious. And not to say COVID isn't serious and people aren't... Yeah, I don't know. Let me just shut up. It's so hot, y'all. Ooh. Ooh. That was so hot. It was like that onion was resting on my finger. Mmm. 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 They so good, though. <laughs> it be worth all the burn. Mmm. Mmm. 
Woo. All right, y'all. So, <sighs> I ain't even gonna lie. When I, Wendy Williams, y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna bring her in first. The messiest of the mess, the drama of the drama. The queen. I don't understand. Honestly, I know y'all saw her pretty much out Black China and say Black China didn't have any money. If you didn't see it, hit it. He's, I told he's you Black China um, texts me regularly. Can you help me find a condo? I have no place to live. What? Nope, didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, China. She said she's not getting child support from either. From uh, the payments were lowered from Robin. She yep. said that China mother, a single help mother at all. of two. Can I find her a place to live? And it was like random. Like maybe she sent a blast to everybody that she knows because it didn't say like, "Dear Wendy." Yeah. I didn't answer it. I don't want to be involved. And after that, China came out like boo boo. wonder where that came from like like Wendy what the fuck like I don't think that she is just literally just pulling this out her ass like literally like but I don't think Black China text her that shit or maybe she did and it was an accidental message and but I just don't see it going to Wendy I really feel like Black China is way smarter than that like a lot of people were saying look at that <laughs> a lot of people were saying that um Oh, between, uh, which is true, between DJ Booth, Nene, and Black China, how many friends she, how, who you think she betrayed the most? I, first of all, DJ Booth, because I think that they had a real friendship. I don't think Black China's friendship or Nene's friendship, Wendy took it, uh, that serious at all. I don't think so. Woo, I'm gonna de-share that thing before I get on camera, y'all, because that's too much for me. But my thing is, like, DJ Boop, they had a real damn friendship. Like, he's been working there for, for fucking forever with her. You know what I'm saying? And you gonna do him like that, baby? That one right there was a little hard. I felt like, nah. Like, China and Nene, she was only trying to be friends with y'all to benefit her. And it showed every single time. Every single time. Mm. Mm. Then nothing. Mm. That knuckle. Oh my goodness. Mm. But that's my biggest thing. Like, ooh. It's like hot. Everything is so hot, y'all. Y'all see that smoke? Woo! Y'all see that? Oh, y'all can't see it. Y'all can't see it. Whatever. And another thing, y'all, I don't really season too hard. I used to really season a lot. But I think I watched Beloved and I, I don't know who she was with. And she was like, I don't really season this. Like, I, my sauce has all the seasoning. And she damn right. I remember one time I was like, damn, that's salty as a motherfucker. But it's not. It's just because you season the shit out of the food and then you got all the seasoning in the sauce. I don't need all of that. Mm hmm whoa whoa mm, that was hella good mm. make a volcano with that mm. Mm. i'll probably gotta get the first because that's gonna fall back in there yeah so um I, I don't think that, I think Nene was done with um, her because she really thought Wendy was her friend. Or thought Wendy was going to play her game. As far as loyalty, she did DJ Booth wrong. I don't care, she did DJ Booth wrong. If you don't know, you need to go watch online with Tasha K. Baby, she did DJ Booth wrong. Mm-mm. Mm mm mm. Look at these beautiful lobster sales, y'all. Oh, waiting for these puppies. Waiting for these babies. And yeah, that's just how I feel about that one. Wendy is not your friend. I don't think Wendy nobody friend. She ain't even Medina friend, and Medina did all that extra over Nene. We don't even hear her talking about you. Like, 
She'd rather say she hanging out with her friend Black China than she hanging out with Medina. All right. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. Mm. No, cut it. Wendy ain't your friend. I ain't surprised Wendy said all that. But I just want to know where it come from. Because she can't just be making up lives like that. Like, Wendy. I mean, she do be coming up when they all fucked up and drunk. But, but like that. She didn't look drunk that time, y'all. Y'all, I had to get frozen corn, y'all. They did not have any fresh corn to grocery stores. Because I don't play about my corn. So we just gonna see what this is. I don't think I've ever had frozen corn since I was a kid. Like once I was like, and my mama wrong for that. Cause fresh corn is like, what? So we just gonna see y'all. If not, I'm gonna throw this whole pack away. I was so mad. They couldn't, oh, so mad. Mm. 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 It just tastes, Different. Wow. I don't like it. It's not giving me, it tastes mushy-ish. Like, it's not giving me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Let me y'all some of this lobster tail. This thing is banging. Oh, that's all from there. That is banging. <laughs> For real. I know everybody was like, why is Barsha talking like she ain't married? Because she ain't married. The Scotty Pippen, though, is cheaper to fucking keep her at this point. He don't give a damn what she do. She don't give a damn what he do. He probably set up the damn interview for her to talk about future. Like, I honestly deep don't think they can. I don't. Scotty is chilling. He ain't worried about her at all. And one thing she said in that interview, well, y'all, did y'all peep? She missed her some future, baby. I don't care what nobody say. She want that, 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 mm-mm. She want that dirty Sprite, baby. A very normal, like, type of situation. But he's, I mean, I love him. He's the best. He's great. Because I want to say, they didn't really break up, break up. I mean, they didn't have, like, no nothing extra. They just stopped really seeing each other because I think Scotty came back in the picture. And honestly, I don't even think Scotty wanted her. I think it was the humiliation. Yeah, I think. He's supposed to be this type of dude, and you got your girl running around with future. And look at the cuteness overload, y'all. Look at the baby. Look at the baby. That baby. That baby, so they make some beautiful babies. Now, I'll tell you that now. I like me some Tiana Taylor and I'm a chump, but y'all go ahead with y'all beautiful babies, okay? I know June is going to love being a big sister. You know, I think that it's just so cute. Now, speaking of babies now, let me just drop the pick. Yeah. Congratulations are in order for your girl Summer Walker, y'all. Congratulations. She is telling us. She is finally announcing what we already knew. We told you you was pregnant. <clears throat> but one thing I will say, and I understand it, every woman or person, whoever, should have that, that right to kind of like, how do you say it? I mean, I, I know what I'm trying to say. I just don't got the words. It should be.
be up to her to announce her pregnancy. Not everybody else. Not us, you know. And I know it's hard to say because I'm one of the people that was like, girl, you pregnant. But, um, yeah. I, I really think that that is... They should have that moment for them. That's them. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially if some people don't keep the baby, that's their business. So, yeah, but since we've been even pregnant, now everyone now wants to know. You didn't talk shit about them baby mamas and shit. And here you go. So. Should we feel sorry for her when he do her? But you know what, y'all? I honestly don't think he gonna do her like that. Because the baby mamas, for one, I just saw the baby mama, Ebony. I never can name her. I, I don't know. Her. And <clears throat> she said they got her on it. They trying to send her on the NDA so she ain't gonna be talking too much. And to be honest with you, I don't blame it. Like I said. It is on their terms. That, that's her baby. You had your baby by London. Let her have her baby. Let her announce the pregnancy. But you just, just because she want to deny it, like, damn. Now, how is that going to work? Because you got all the baby mamas on child support. I mean, uh, um. You're taking all the baby mamas to, to court. So, if you get kept custody of all them kids, goddamn, Summer. Damn, but I mean, hey. Congratulations to Summer Walker in London on the track. They got a baby in the track. You know, he about to be a daddy again. <laughs> speaking of daddies now, speaking of daddies, let's get to some white daddies. Y'all mad? Y'all mad at him? Y'all mad at Scott Disick for doing what the fuck he been doing? And y'all mad at Lisa Renner daughter for being over 18, dating whoever the fuck she wanted to date. This is what I'm going to tell y'all. In Hollywood and that celebrity lifestyle thing, that shit is totally different. They, 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 they want shit so different, yo. Like, for real. Like, who the hell in Hollywood is going to say anything about that? You had Kylie Jenner dating Tiger when she was 16, getting boobs done. And saying they were best friends. And so she was 18, they fucked. I mean, they kissed on camera. So, like, I don't understand. So, I mean. And I'm sorry, y'all. The girl's over 18. Her mama clearly don't care. Her daddy probably don't care. They Hollywood. Her mama probably, like, invite him to dinner, honey. Mm-hmm. I haven't watched her season, so I don't know how really she act, but I'm just saying, like, I do think that, okay, like, how much in common do y'all have? But I cannot lie. I've dated someone 10 years older than me, 15 years older than me, but, but, um, them, I just feel like that's just a Scott like young looking women. Look at, look at, um, his baby mother. Courtney is the oldest Kardashian girl, a daughter, but she looks the, almost the youngest between the older daughters. Between Car between uh, them bitches. Between Kim, Chloe, and Courtney, Courtney looks the youngest, and she's the oldest. That's how Scott liked them. Did he just say Sophie? Richie? Everybody was like, oh, you better get your son. They were saying, Lana Richie, get your daughter, get your daughter. He ain't get her. He let her date her. She was all on the show. She, that was a serious situation shit going on. So, I don't know, y'all. I, I really, not that I don't see nothing wrong with it. I don't know, I guess I don't because she's over 18. She's 19. So, it's like. When y'all little asses was in, in, in high school, 16, 17, or whatever, having them older men drop you off and shit and pick you up because y'all cool, I'm trying to do mature for your age or whatever. 
No, ain't nobody say shit about that. And they should have. So my y'all been dun dun dun. Now this shit was hot. Megan dropped that album, y'all, and stirred a lot. Well, it ruffled a lot of feathers outside. So uh, before the album dropped, you know, she did a a spread with G. Is it GQ mag magazine? <coughs> and that pissed some people off too. The Breakfast Club, in fact. And I got mixed views on what they said. They felt like. Megan gave the exclusive drops to the white, the white, you know, publications. But when she was uh, scheduled to come up to the Breakfast Club, she couldn't talk about nothing Tory related. But she got in the GQ magazine and laid it out. I get them, but I was feeling that way at first. And so I say, well, let's look at the difference of the publication. Like, let's listen. Let's look at that. You got the Breakfast Club. And you got GQ Magazine. The Breakfast Club probably would have toy with her. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. They probably would have toy with it a little bit. And possibly had, you know, run down them questions real heavy. Which GQ don't seem like they were trying to do all of that. Um, it seemed like they just was like, we want to hear from you. But one thing Charlemagne did say, I'm going to play it. I'm gonna read the GQ magazine article, because if you're going to name her rapper of the year, you should be focusing on her, her rap, right? I do agree with that, you know, because it's almost like the okie doke. You don't come here, the breakfast club, because, you know, you can't, you can't be pretty, you can't ask you no questions about the Tory Lanez, but that's, that's the only thing everybody want to ask you about right now. That's it. And your music that was coming out but like honestly honestly that whole situation overshadowed her music and i'm being honest with you because i was a daha megan fan i love me some megan i still love her music but i was not rushing to hear good news at all i just listened to body yadi 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 and i like it i'm probably not gonna listen to nothing else unless it pop up i'm sorry I, that whole situation just turned me sour but um yeah, but well, what Charlemagne said, I, I definitely felt him. It should just be strictly on her music, on her raps. She's, the, you know, on her raps only. You know, she definitely threw some shots at Tori, which we all knew she was. And Kelsey. So it definitely was confirmed that she heard, um, that she was offered that money, which I already knew. I told y'all I watched Unwind with Tasha K. And if you don't watch Unwind with Tasha K, you was not in the know. I knew the night that it happened that he offered them money. So, yeah. It's just sad, though. It is really sad. And I, my biggest thing is sad that the friendship, her and Kelsey... And her taking shots at Kelsey like that, like that shit was just weak, bruh. It to me is screaming insecurity in her, like, like uh, even in um taking shots at uh, Kylie, and um even in her other song um Don't Stop, I felt like that was a shot when she said um you ain't fucking you ain't fucking them right bitch pass them to me. I felt like that was a whole thing. It's just a mess. <clears throat> it's just a whole mess. Mm. Dang, I need to use my lemon, y'all. Mm. Y'all, my battery is going lit. I don't know how. I think I got to get another charger because I don't know what the fuck is going on my camera. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. See that slow drip? I like that slow drip. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Y'all, so mad my camera is about to die, y'all. So, I think all the stuff that Megan is doing is just messing up her icon status. Her, <coughs> her getting to icon status. I just don't think 
I, I just think she needs to just chill out and worry about the music. Honestly, you not worrying about the music is what's got you in this shit anyway. You shouldn't have been playing around with Tory Lanez ass anyway. Period. Fuck is you doing? Tory Lanez, bruh? No. At that time, you was going through it with your label. You should have been focused on them contracts, music, all of this. Nah, you shouldn't have been out there playing. Yeah, you could have got dick. You should have got dick from somebody else. Like... But I feel you kind of got fucked with somebody else and got a lot of shit to lose too. But you can see this nigga feeling like he ain't got nothing to lose right now. It's crazy. Mm, Fashion Overline sell went 1.2 million, 1 million on the first night. That was lit. All right, y'all. This thing is going dead for real. So I got to cut it off. So... Before I go, I just want y'all to know Nicki Minaj having the docuseries on HBO Max and I'm so excited! Mm -hmm. I'm excited. If you heard <clears throat> Megan's new album, Good News, what's your favorite song on there? No, matter of fact, I don't even want to know what's your favorite song. Is it a hit or miss? That's all I want to know. Can be trash or cash it? Like, I just want to know. Your opinion, like, I want to know, do y'all think that this album is the one? I heard a lot of mixed views, you know what I'm saying? But I like Body Audi. I love the video, love the visuals. I love Taraj P. Um, I loved it. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, so I don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me finish this food off camera, y'all. Because <laughs> I am not full. <laughs> I'm out, y'all. Peace.